Hi, welcome to Web of Stories. It's Wednesdays and we spend our Wednesdays with Will around here in the bard room. Um, this is part of my project of um, reading through William Shakespeare's plays. I draw a play out of a tin every month, starting this year, so we're on like month two of this. And I read that play. If there's an adapt, I will watch an adaptation of it. I have not yet watched the adaptation of this. If there's a retelling, I'll do a retelling. I'll just sort of spend the month on that play. So this month's play was The Merry Wives of Windsor, which is a comedy. Now, last month we did The Winter's Tale. And one thing I said about The Winter's Tale when I did that video is it felt like fan service, which is kind of funny because this play is actually fan service. Um, Elizabeth I told Shakespeare she wanted a play about Falstaff and gave him two weeks to write it. And that is this play. <laughs> it is not a play that's going to have really deep philosophical meanings on the human condition. But it's a fun play with dirty jokes. Um, <laughs> so there you go. And you know what? A fun play with dirty jokes is a fun play. Um, uh, <laughs> so basically, um, just the main story of this is there's Falstaff, who appears in other Shakespeare's plays. He's in like the Henry's plays. And he's like this big guy who's like a little bit drunk all the time and hangs around with women of ill repute. And um, he's a very much a comic character. And in this play, there are two women in the town of Windsor, Mistress Page and Mistress Ford. They are both married to Page and Ford, obviously. And he decides that he wants to like start up an affair with them so he can like get their husband's money. And um, they are totally not into this, but they're total, they are totally into like making him look like a fool. And Shakespeare's really good when he tries to make people look like a fool. So they do these things and it, it involves at one point throwing him in a basket and then he gets thrown into a river and then they dress him up as a woman in one part and he gets beaten up. And um, it's very funny. It's very light. Um, there are other comic characters in here. There's another subplot about who Mistress Page's daughter is going to marry. Um, which is handled very lightly compared to other such plots in other Shakespeare plays, at least the ones that I know of. Um, there are characters who like, and this is one thing I did with this, with this when I read it, is I listened to it as I read it, which worked incredibly well for me. Um, especially this one that has so many jokes in it. Also has characters with different accents in it. Um, they're written out like there's a character with a French accent and it's like written out with a French accent. And I think I probably without the audio component might have been totally lost with that. Um, so I may continue to do the immersive read. Uh, but there's a lot of all the characters here are, are very comic. So this is a really fun play. Um, I am surprised. I mean, this would be a good intro play to Shakespeare, I think, because the themes in this are not especially deep and that's okay. It is a fun play and you don't have to think too hard to get the dirty jokes, even though it's like, you know, this was 600 years old or 500 years old, however old it was, I don't know, 600, I think. Um, no, 500, it's, it's old, it's really old. <laughs> Nine, it's a couple hundred years old. You still get the dirty jokes. Um, it's just fun. So I would definitely recommend this. Now, I have not yet watched an adaptation of this. I plan to do that in the very near future. And that will probably, I'll probably talk about that next week. One thing I not, I, I, I don't seem to be able to do with this one is to read a retelling because I can't find one. Um, if you happen to know of a retelling of The Merry Wives of Windsor, please let me know in the comments down below because I have not been able to look, to determine if there is one. Um, which is kind of strange because I actually think this would be a pretty easy story to retell in a different setting. Um, you wouldn't, again, have to worry about deep themes as much. Um, so yeah, I mean, I figure if you can do a retelling of The Winter's Tale, which is a messed up play, you should be able to do a retelling of this. But anyway, that is The Merry Wives of Windsor. I really enjoyed it. I am looking forward to watching my adaptation. I am pretty sure there's an adaptation on Broadway HD. Um, they have most of the Shakespeare plays, not all of them as I learned last month because I don't have The Winter's Tale. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they have The Merry Wives of Windsor. So I don't know what production it would be, probably an RSC production, but that's fine. Um, that's actually ideal because they do the best productions. So I am looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, 
there's a, a audio series that does all of the Shakespeare plays, kind of no frills, just does it, um, that I found my library has the whole, the whole series. So if you're, if you're daunted by Shakespeare, do an immersive read of it, get the book, get an audio book and just play a lot, read along as it goes. Cause it will, it's, it's a much easier way to follow. I think it's a great way to do a comedy because you're, you get the intonations of people voice, people's voices. So you, you, sometimes you might, because the language is so old and the sense of humor is so old, you might not even know it's a joke if you just read it. But if you hear it said and you get the intonation, you get the context, you know it's a joke and then you understand it. So yeah, there you go. The Merry Wives of Windsor, better than The Winter's Tale. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, like, subscribe, join my Discord, especially if you want to read along with us. Um, we do 10 plays a year. We take the months of May and December off, personally, because those are very busy months for me. I can tell you now, because I've already done the draw, in March we will be doing Henry IV Part 1. Um, and I could tell you what we're doing in April, but I'm not going to, not yet. <laughs> Um, but anyway, if you do decide to join us and do that on my Discord, we have a thread called The Bard Room where we are discussing these plays as we go along. So thank you very much. Do all the things and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.